teach you. Yeah. Alright, brekkie time. We're going to walk over to our little restaurant. I believe it was like pouring with rain. Not even like two hours ago. I was like got bitten by something right here. <laughs> ready to go our plan today is to go to this like pool club it's called Kreta I think I pronounced it right and then we're gonna go to Ulan Danu temple which is on the water we were really concerned about the weather because it was pouring all night and this morning and now it's sunny let me look at that actually don't look at me look at that it's like insane thought for one second I was like we're gonna have to cancel today there's like no way we're gonna be able to go but it was fine so our driver is taking us this is the same driver we had last time and thanks to my mom she found him he is amazing he like came giving us that little cakes and fruits this time like he's just so sweet I will again leave his whatsapp down below he is just so punctual amazing and sweet all the above <laughs> um so check him out if you want him because he is amazing but anyway we are ready to go i'm just gonna go to the toilet and then i'm gonna put my shoes on and then so i'm taking my little handbag and then i've got like lots of little things i got my camera my shoes in there some wipes we need to get those drinks out still in the fridge we're ready to go next we arrived at kratara um day club I actually did not like this place in the end. It was really overpriced, um, cheap to get in, but if you wanted like a nice little day bed or whatever, you had to pay like 150 Australian dollars. Um, and I think that was the cheapest one you could get, which is really expensive. It was so busy for the time that we went and lots and lots of people that were just like taking photos. And I mean, there's nothing against that. I'm one of those people, but it was just, yeah, not my vibe. The cocktails were so expensive as well, so you definitely do pay a lot more here, including for food. So we just got two cocktails. They weren't the best cocktails I had in Bali, overpriced, and yeah, we ended up having to change our plans here because we had to wait for our driver over an hour because we could not get in contact with him, which means we couldn't get to the top of Bali to see the temple, so we're going to go to some waterfalls instead. that note we couldn't find our driver because we didn't have or he didn't have any signal um data signal so not his fault not our fault but yeah so we lost track of time um well we lost some time so we just needed to change our plans so we came to this waterfall which is Timbamana. i can't think i'm pronouncing that right but we've been here before and it's just beautiful so been for us at the end Can swim. Yeah. So I got some pictures. As you can tell, it's not that actually that busy around here. There's just a couple of people. So it's a good waterfall to come and visit if you like a less busy one. <laughs> We didn't make it to the temple, but that's fine. So as you can tell, it's not that busy. Pretty good. Got 
applying to the second waterfall now. I forgot what it's called though. So maybe if I can get a picture of a sign and show you. There's not really any way for us to get down safely, not without getting wet. <laughs> I mean, it was worth looking at. Hi, Where? I can't even see it. this place called bamboo kitchen thanks to my parents when they came to bali they came here and they could not recommend this place more it was actually really tricky to find because there's no road leading up to this place just a little footpath from like a dead end road anyway we got here it was amazing we picked out we got cocktails and milkshakes and plates and plates of food um pastas and yeah, satay chicken and burgers, and this all cost us under 40 Australian dollars. Wow. This is what I mean by the little footpath to get there. Um, this is located in Ubud, and I said dead end road. I don't mean dead end road. It was kind of like a, like a cul-de-sac almost, but led to another road and to another road. But yeah, this is how you get there. You walk along this path. So we just came to a place called Bamboo Kitchen. It's quite like remote-ish. Like you have to get off the main road. And walk on this path. We get to walk through these beautiful rice fields, like so. Lots of beautiful rice fields. That's mum's and dad's hotel. Yeah. Yeah, the bridge walk. Yeah. Are you alright? The food was really good and really cheap as well. We got so much. And we paid under $40. It was, yeah, it was ridiculous. We got two cocktails, two milkshakes, three meals. And a drink. That's insane. Back so good. In our villa, I am just going to sit in the pool. I don't think I'm going to swim in it because it's actually quite cold. But I'm going to sit in it and enjoy. It is actually really cold. Yeah, it's like 5.30. I think I'm gonna call it a day today. I don't think we're gonna go out. Anyway, maybe to our restaurant here at the hotel, but nowhere else. I just feel really over the driving. There's been a so much traffic. It's definitely getting busy here in Bali, which kind of sucks, but is what it is. So everywhere takes so long to get to, which is fine. But yeah, so I'm just gonna sit in the pool and relax. Lily, I lie here, I jump in. Why well, don't jump in? I dive in, I love pools, I really do. It's just hard when it's cold, but anyway. Anyway, this is me swimming, so enjoy. <laughs> 